Like it went soft. Oh my god! How's it going today everyone? Creek Crawler here. I'm in Southeast Ohio competing in the BKFT kayak fishing tournament sponsored by Strictly Sailing Kayak in Cincinnati where I got my Old Town PDL 106. It's been an awesome kayak so far. I highly recommend going down there and picking up and checking out their inventory at Strictly Sailing Kayak. But today we're fishing the BKFT Raccoon Creek collaboration kind of tournament here and um, I chose Tycoon Lake. There's a bunch of lakes on the list to choose from. Um, I've never fished Tycoon Lake actually. I've done some work around the lake so I'm kind of familiar with the layout and where structure is and everything like that which should be key but yeah I chose Tycoon Lake there's a couple others on unfortunately the Hocking River was blown out I really wanted to go fish for some smallmouth because I know I can catch five smallies on the Hocking River with the Helgramite or a leech or a little crankbait or something but we're gonna give it a shot here at Tycoon for the BKFT. Stay tuned for the action. Let's see if we can't catch five fish today, guys. Let's go! Alrighty, we'll do a quick gear check of what I got going with me today. Got my Tatula Elite 7.1 Daiwa. Paired up with the Light Jig in Texas. 12 pound fluorocarbon. This is what I'll be throwing little swim baits and little Texas rig soft plastics on. This is the Divine by 6 cents with the Divine Jig Head. Eighth ounce with a 3 out hook. So that's gonna be our swim bait rig. We'll be switching different swim baits and stuff out and trying different patterns and different uh, profiles. Got my combat stick, Evergreen, 610 medium, extra fast, Daiwa Kage, 2500, 10 pound braid, down to 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. And this is what I'll be throwing my little soft plastics on, my little finesse worms. Got my Nico Leech, probably throw some Helgramites possibly. I think the Nico Leech might be the ticket today, but yeah, those are two of my main rods. I also brought a rod to throw some frogs around because if you haven't noticed it's super foggy and I've already missed a couple this morning but it was kind of too dark to see on the camera but yeah let's get it started I'm also going to tie on this big old crankbait right here this is the Magnum I believe but it's a thread fin shad presentation really nice natural color in this clear water so I'll throw that on this rod and maybe this will get us some bigger fish He's gonna keep, but it's a fish nonetheless. Just a little baby guy. First fish of the day, though. There you go, buddy. Let's go see if there's any fish on some offshore structure. I see some standing timber out here. We'll go drop a leech or run a crankbait by it. See what's up. All right, we're gonna put the magic juice. My little swim bit here. Little football head with a little weed guard on it. It's one of my favorite swim bait setups. Let's see if we can't catch them on it. I don't know if you can see that, but I found some offshore structure. And there's a bunch of them out here, so I'll target this. And I see some fish right here. It looks like a fry guarding fish. See if we can catch him. Hooked up. Stay down. We got off right at the net. This might be my first keeper of the day. Oh, oh goodness. I think he is gonna keep. Yeah, I think he will. All right, let's put him on the board and measure him up. All right, first keeper of the day is 13 inch. Nice fish. Here you go, buddy. 
All right, that fish was pretty darn deep offshore off some of this isolated structure. They're standing timber out here. And uh, I've seen a couple fish actually guarding fry balls, little guys, but guarding fry. So that was pretty interesting uh, to watch and see. Couldn't really get nothing to bite, but we got that guy down deep. Let's keep patrolling around with a little swim bait. Probably throw some uh, jerk baits around here too out in the suspended water, see if we can't pick up some more fish and hopefully get a limit. We're gonna try a new technique I've been practicing lately. Shaky head. It's a big old trick worm on it out here on this roadbed. Let's see if we can't pick any up on bottom. All righty y'all, a little update so far. It's not looking too good right now. Missed a couple fish on the frog this morning. Got one on the swim bait and then I got a short. So I only got one keeper right now, it's 10.30. We still got plenty of time to fish. You never know. One hour could make the whole entire tournament for you. So you just gotta keep fishing. And that's what I'm gonna do. The sun's getting hot. I'm gonna go out here and target some more isolated structure. Throw some shaky heads, little swim bait. Might even get into some jerk baits too. So hopefully we can get a limit today. There we go. Heck yeah, on the shaky head, offshore. That was awesome. Let's get him on the board and measure him up. Check that out. That's a decent one. Right there on the shaky head. It's probably 14 and a half. Let's submit that fish to the leaderboard if we got signal, which we probably don't. And we'll submit it later when we got signal, but there we go, 14 three quarters going back in. There you go, buddy. All right, let's power fish along the dam face here and uh, see if we can't pick up a couple. What in the world? Little war mouth. On the crank and bait. There we go. That's a keeper. Heck yeah. On the shaky head again, I'm sorry. I think I found a pattern. Right along the dam, right where it drops off into deeper water. That guy might go 12 on the dot. Oh, I don't know. He might not even be a keeper. I'll measure him and find out. All right, we got ourselves a 12 and a half. He will definitely work. This has been a rough day so far. All right, well, 12 and a half, he'll keep. Heck yeah, man, the shaky head's doing work. I'll upload the picture when I get to a place that's got service. Here you go, buddy. All right, a little update so far. I think I've kind of found a pattern. These fish are kind of in deeper water right now and dragging the shaky head along the bottom has been key on those last two fish, a 14 and three quarter, that 12 and a half. I also got that 13 incher offshore structure as well, fishing deep. 
So I think the key is to go deep and fish the drop-offs right here at the dam because it, it drops off pretty significantly. Like big boulder rock and then all of a sudden it just drops off and that's where I just picked that one off. And that's where I got that 14 and 3 quarter down that way. But so far it's almost noon. We got three more hours to fish. I need two more fish to get a limit. If I got a limit today, I know I say this a hundred times, but I'm happy with the limit. I don't care how big the limit is. I just want to get a limit today and it'd be super awesome. So let's continue on. We got three more hours, see if we can't catch up. Yeah. Oh, just lost another one. Look like a keeper too. Dang. What's crazy is you don't feel them have it. Like it feels like you have a twig, but then <laughs> it starts fighting back. <laughs> Crankbait? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Try to trigger something. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh my god! Stay down. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose it. Oh. Dude. Oh my goodness. Oh. Give you a heart attack on treble hooks, won't it? <laughs> yeah, and because she's barely pinned, I knew she was too. Literally. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I thought I snagged up. <laughs> That's what they feel like, them big ones. Oh. Right there on the freaking. Big old squid. Uh, I had this one in its head pretty good. Right there on the big crank. Like bird casting, oh lord. Let's put this baby back in the water. Oh, don't lose it. Alright y'all, we might have just broke my PB largey for length. Look at that. Let's put it on the measuring board. This might go 20, man. This might go 20. Unbelievable. Oh, 20 and three quarter. Or no, 20 and a half. All right, 20 and a half incher. We'll let it go in a second. All right, y'all, we're gonna let this beast go. I just got on the, I believe that's a cloud and a thread fin, but an excellent fish. An unbelievable fish right there. Look at that. Freaking beast. Here you go, buddy. Off to the depths. Let's go. We need one more for a limit. All right, a little update so far with that 20 and a half inch. I don't know if you can see that. I'm in sixth place, but I have a 20 and a half inch fish. It looks like to be the biggest fish so far. So that'd be even sweet. If we got a top 10 and big fish, that'd be epic. Let's keep it going. See if I can't get that one fish for the limit. You know what's freaking awesome about that catch? Other than it almost gave me a heart attack when its head came up and started shaking with one treble in the side of its face. I didn't realize I also had another hook buried like in the side of his gill plate, like right on top of his, near his head. But this is the Mini Mag Ghost Threadfin Shad. Um, Cloud 9 Mini Mag, I believe. But it's a huge crank. It's a huge square, but look at that. 
So I hit that structure and snagged up. I'm pretty sure I snagged. But I hit that structure, and as soon as I ripped it off the structure, that fish ate it. And as I was reeling in, I was like, I felt weight. I was like, wait, I just got out of that snag. I looked to my left, and I'm sorry the camera was kind of crazy, but my heart was going a mile a minute. And I looked over, and its head came out of the water and just started shaking. And I was like, oh, goodness. So that's the biggest bass I've ever caught in a tournament setting, and that's pretty awesome considering I've never even fished Tycoon before. I just want to get one more fish and finish out the limit. And I might even walk, I might walk away with the top 10 and might even walk away with big fish of the day. That'd be insane. And not only that, I got it on my Team 6 rod that Six Cent sent me. 610 medium heavy fast action. And I got it paired up with the Daiwa Tatula 100 HSL 71 with um, 12 pound fluorocarbon. So I got it on my new crankbait and I got it on my new rod. That's freaking awesome. I'm gonna remember that forever. I need one more 12 plus inch largemouth to finish my limit. If I can do that, I believe we can get top 10 and secure a big fish if nobody else catches a big one today. And there's a lot of really, there's a lot of hammers in this tournament today. So that could easily be broken anywhere else because there's a bunch of different lakes and even some creeks and rivers. But to get a top 10, on another lake I've never fished in before. Would just be so awesome. But we got an hour and a half, let's grind it out, see if we can't get one more fish. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for the tournament. I came up one fish short of a limit. Missed one fish today, had one hooked up at the dam that probably was a keeper barely looked like a 12 12 and a half incher lost him didn't really get a good hook set but overall i will take it a lot I've heard, I've heard a lot of anglers saying they had a tough day today so with what i was able to put together on a place i've never fished before i'm proud of myself i'm super proud of myself the 20 and a half incher unbelievable gave me a heart attack almost um on that crankbait on that mini mag thread fin ghost thread fin shad or something like that but just ripping it off there's a structure out here and i was just ripping it off that structure and i pulled it off and that fish ate it as i was pulling it out and it was incredible incredible catch so we're gonna go to raccoon creek outfitters for the length in to see the results of the day if i got a top 10 that'd be un unbelievable i don't think i did because i missed a limit by one fish, but we have a good shot at big fish. And I've never gotten a big fish in a tournament before, so that'd be pretty special. So we're gonna go to Raccoon Creek and see what happens and check out the results. All right, so here we go. You guys know uh, how we do this. We had 55 anglers show up. This is event number four. And then the top three will get a trophy. And then there's gonna be a big bass. So number six, coming in at 64 and a quarter inches, taking home $93. Sean Skidmore. Big round of applause for Sean Skidmore. Uh, we have fifth place with 65 inches um. even. Taking home $120. That's rough. James Pinson. Congratulations, Stop, James. Where's James? Congratulations, buddy. Uh, and then we have fourth place is 66 and three quarter inches. Taking home $146. Michael Page. All right, uh, number three, we have the first trophy winner with 72 and three quarter inches. Taking home $160. Please come get your trophy, Kevin Sams. Good job, Kevin. Second place, uh, really amazing finish with 77 and a half inches. Taking home $279. Joe Now. Good job, Joe. Come get your trophy, Joe. He's a he's a hammer. He's an old mega bass. He's great. Yeah. First place, 85 inches even. Jeez. Taking home Jeez. $532. Chris Hannigan, huge round of applause for Chris. Come get your first job, Congratulations, huge job, round of applause. All right, and then, um, you know, sometimes the 
in, in, in a lot of these tournaments, the first place winner or first through third or a trophy winner or a money winner also got the big fish. And I love it when the big bass or the big fish comes from someone that was not in the money. That is, that is cool. I say that because it happened one time to a guy that I know. And um, big fish, a 20 and a half inch, and we hear more about this. So even though you're not getting a trophy, come on down here because I want to hear more about this fish. Taking home $275, Brian Slayton. Congratulations, man. Brian. I said he's not getting a trophy. He totally give out a trophy. Yeah, yeah, you get a trophy. So, t tell us a little bit about your uh, about your big fish. Um, I actually caught it with like an hour and twenty minutes left in the tournament. Um, I was fishing some offshore structures, and um, I was throwing a mini mag six inch crankbait. It's like a four inch square bill, just a giant square bill, and I was just like ripping it through these um, hard structures. And what's funny is I got it on video. I thought I was snagged into the structure, and I went to pop my line. Is that when I went to pop my line, the fish come up out of the water right next to the kayak. Mm. I about lost my mind when I seen it. Yeah. it so big. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, congratulations. Uh, that's a huge fish. Fish, huge round of applause. Oh, 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 oh. Tycoon. Nice job. An hour, hour and a half left to go. Before oh, yeah. that, that would have been an additional 275, Chris. That's awesome. Dude. Sorry about that. He's out of the, out of the hat. We have a, we have a tradition where. We're All right, before we end the video today, as promised, I'm doing my 5K subscriber giveaway. I know it's kind of late, but I've been so busy working, going to school, going fishing on my off time, and haven't had a lot of time to edit videos. But we're gonna go do the 5,000 subscri subscriber giveaway right now. Go inside, do the random comment generator, and Vance Outdoors is sponsoring this giveaway, so they contributed a whole rod and reel combo. An Abu Garcia Revo X combo. It's an awesome, awesome combo. And I'm also throwing some six cents baits and I'm also gonna be throwing some Nico baits in the package as well. Um, I'll go in here, select a winner from the random comment generator and please comment down below if you've watched this video so that we, I can get with you on social media, get your um, mailing address and send it off to you. Let's go inside on the computer and pick a winner. All right, I copied the link into the comment generator. Got 127 comments. Um, so we'll go ahead and pick a winner, see what happens. Engineering hook sets. I don't know if you guys can see that. Commented, that's sick, dude. You've been putting out a ton of good content. You deserve it. Well, engineering hook sets, you have one to give away. I'll get with you. Hopefully you watch one of my recent videos, and I'll get with you on social media and send out your package. I appreciate you commenting and engaging with my content. All righty, everyone, we're going to end the video for the BKFT kayak fishing tournament sponsored by Strictly Sail and Kayak. Drew Gregory from Crescent came out there and showed up, showed off the Sholey, the new kayak that he helped design and pretty much build. It was an awesome event. The Raccoon Creek Outfitters ended up in ninth place out of 55. That's a lot better than I thought I was going to get considering I only caught four keepers, but we caught that giant fish and I got my first ever kayak fishing trophy with big bass. An awesome, awesome trophy. It's like a half, half of a catch board, but I had an absolute blast. It was a really tough day on Tycoon Lake. About 12 other anglers were there. But I had an awesome, strong finish, and I'll take it, especially with big bass on top of it. Won a little money, too, so that's even extra, extra special. If you'd like to get some water lanes, use code CRAWLER15 on the water lane website. If you'd like to get that crankbait, that mini mag that I use, go to Six Cents, use code CRAWLER, or I can might even convince Vance Outdoors to bring them into their shop, which actually they have that specific crankbait in Lebanon. So you can go down there, it's the Ghost Mini Mag Threadfin Shad, I believe. But yeah, that's what I caught it on, ripping through structure and everything. It was an awesome, awesome experience. My biggest, one of my biggest bass ever, and it was recorded on a tournament, so that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out on the water. Let's go!